our boy, bro. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. My Stevie man. Williams. Dude, love this shit. This was great to see like more of a visual behind the story. That was so sick. Shit was beautiful. Yeah, yeah it really yeah. was. The way they did this, the storytelling made me really like, I was like, damn, man, this is so fucking cool. Mm-hmm. Well, they actually did a good job of like, you know, ESPN, they have... They're not really core skateboarders probably that work there, but they got the right people to make this right. happen the right, right. way. This was right. like, fuck, yeah. I, I felt like I was watching like a Netflix piece yeah. or something. Mm-hmm. Like I was just like, this mm-hmm. is this is one of us talking, you know? Mm-hmm. You know, it's funny when you're seeing it like a, from a different like perspective, from like a different type of athlete. But then when you see one of your own and they really break it down in the retrospect right. of like, he, you know, what he's done and where he's yeah. come from, it's fucking amazing. It's bro. So cool, yeah. man. Storytelling. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah, what we talk about more. at it's finest. <clears throat> I know they did one with Sheckler. I don't know if this is the second one they've done or if they've done more, but this shit was dope. And Stevie's a good storyteller too. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm yeah. saying? At the end of the day, he knows how to really. Yeah. And the fact that his boy, like Rasul's still around to be able to talk about those moments too, mm-hmm. you know? Yep. Hell yeah. Rasul's a man. I will say though, I watched this on ESPN when it aired <laughs> live and they put uh, Blayback's name as Mark Blayback for oh, his lower wow. third. I was like, Really? <laughs> Mark Blayback. Mark Blayback. They fixed it in the, the extended one, but I was like, yo, come on, dog. Oh, my yo. God. <laughs> yeah, I mean. There's always something. Yeah, no doubt. Yeah. I mean, one letter off, I could see. Right. I mean, Chris, you put, you called Tom Kringloff Todd. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> called comedy. Yeah. <laughs> it's called focusing on his last name. Uh, Hyper focused, and I I botched it. Bro. Yeah, it happens. Dude, this John Wayne was the dude's mm-hmm. name that drove him across California. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Yeah, like the stories, bro. Like, yeah, I mean, yeah, come on. Like I knew he, I'd heard stories before. Like, yeah, he ran away, but like, he was like, yeah, I was fully on Christmas break and just went to San Francisco. Yeah, yeah. And then Pat Washington didn't even have an actual crib to stay. Dude. In. <laughs> yeah. yeah, when he pulled wow. up and got there. Yeah, yeah. so wow, so sick. Yeah, he felt like you could. At first, when he first started talking, he's like, "Man, you could make a living off this. You could like make money. You could yeah. travel the world." But it's funny though because people back then weren't making a lot of money. Mm-hmm. So, but you could tell that his passion and love for skateboarding took over, and Definitely. it just let him take him the way to where he is now. Definitely. And then it got to the point where he said he was looking, he was going in a realm where he didn't feel like he fit with people, or like you know what I mean, going different. Like he's like, yes, I didn't be with I my know. skaters, and then. When you realize, you could tell that it's all about love for him. Well, I think also a lot of money is relative to people in your situation. So right. coming from his background and his story, right. whatever they were making was a lot of money. Right. To totally. Him. Yeah. And, yeah. At the, and at the time too, when you're young, mm-hmm. five hundred dollars is a lot of money. Exactly. Yeah. Hell yeah. Right. Hell yeah. You're making fifteen hundred dollars. You're like, hey, I'm killing. Oh it. my god. Yeah. That, Fucking right. no kid that age is making fifteen hundred dollars exactly. a month for it sure. Just, just skateboarding. Just skating. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. right. But shortly after, when the shoe era hit and everybody had pro shoes, people made a lot of money. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, there was the select people that had those pro model shoes. Right. Yes. You had that. Mm-hmm. Woo. I mean, I, Jerron, yeah. you're the closest. I mean, you're, you, you did have yeah, that. Yeah, but look, there's levels to this shit. Yeah. yeah. I'll tell you that shit. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And Stevie was at the top of the, when his shoe first came out, DC was fucking killing it. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. they were on a, you know, a surge that was like no other. So he was seeing some really some decent ass mm-hmm. checks you yeah, know what I'm true. saying so cause his shit, shit wasn't just in like skate shop that was at like Pac Sun and shit yeah, back in the day too when like, they, so and not there. for nothing they put a big marketing plan behind his shit mm-hmm. you yeah. know like it was like they put big money behind it I never had big money put behind my I'm not saying that I didn't but they, they put Stevie in a different type right. of rank yep. you know what I'm saying so and, and it was well well worth for them to do so I mean looking at, as me as a kid looking at Josh and Stevie I was, I'm still huge fans of them, but to see them at that point, it was the first time I was like, damn, skateboarders can make some serious money. Mm-hmm. Like when it showed them with their like their cars and everything, like he kind of speaks about it a little yeah, bit. Yeah. I just thought it was super cool. They, they're they kind of like the forefront of it almost, you know? Mm-hmm. Like like you, like you, Costin and all these guys, like yeah. they they're brought they brought skateboarding to that level, dude, sure. and made it fucking. A soy, Tony Hawk. Yeah, for sure. Who? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this was for our generation. I mean, Roger, you're making a great point, but this was our generation, what we're speaking on right now. Yeah, this is how, totally. like, you know. Totally. There it is. And they look so fresh on the board. Oh, dude. my God. It was it, it, unbelievable how fresh mm-hmm. they looked. And their story of him, like, 
Josh said he's like, yeah, I didn't come, I didn't save him. I just kind of put him back in the yeah. right, you know, direction. Yeah, and it's so cool. The the whole story is amazing. Well, yeah. Stevie always says that. Yeah, he, always, he saved me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So he always says I. I mean, yeah, proof was in the pudding. Right, dude. If it's, coming, if it's coming out, if it's coming out his mouth, it definitely was a well important. It was an important part of his mm-hmm. life. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. This is the line. Yeah. Oof. We talked about that line in his stop and chat. Yeah, so when he sick. quit chocolate, like I think Razul said, he's like, dude, it's like quitting the Lakers. Mm-hmm. It's yeah. like you don't do that, and no one did do that. He was kind of the first one to do it. Yeah, yeah, and like start his own shit. Start his own mm-hmm. shit, mm-hmm. and it worked. Totally and I. Right. I I remember people when something like that happened. People always questioned it. Of course, they're like, For "Man, sure. who, someone new going to start something? No way! There's mm-hmm. only these companies that can make it." Yeah. And he just came through you and proved everyone. Always bet on yourself. Yeah. yeah, but that's just a testament of time. It happens. It happens every generation. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like you have Pal Perota left Pal Perota and started their own. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. this, it's just that's what happens. That's mm-hmm. how Girl and Chocolate happened. That's yeah. true. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. That's exactly. what Il Sib is going to turn into. Right. You know. Look at mm-hmm. this, dude. But to see that, this is so dude. sick. Yeah. That was so good. Legend, bro. So Straight good. up, dude. For real. I love their lower third. They put skateboarding legend. Legend. Yeah. I mean, hey. No. Facts. S dot. Facts. That so shit. good. God, this is which <laughs> pop shove after that was so fucking. That. So sick. This shit is so. I good. loved it in his stop and chat. He was saying that. And it was such forward thinking. I don't even think a lot of skateboarders even think about this nowadays. Even he would push to the beat of the song before the song was even laid out. When he's filming his line, he's pushing on that one, two, that, that, whatever that the beats are. The metronome. The metronome. Mm-hmm. He was pushing so that when it got put in a part, it would flow oh, to wow. the song. Yeah. So sick. Damn. And I'm like, yo. What? <laughs> Lo and what? behold, that was like natural. He yeah, was exactly. Naturally doing that. That's he probably didn't even have to say that. He, that's natural shit right there. He was marking to his own beat straight yeah. up. Yeah. But you watch the old footage of him when he's a kid. He has this, like, he has that, he has that style, dude. Mm-hmm. He's pushes, dude. He has that what? That swag. There it is. Swag. There it is. <laughs> that's when you can use it. That's it. Yeah, he's trying to bring it back. Yeah, yeah. he got that swag, dog. Dude, he does like the, <laughs> he does that nollie front crook like super long at lo- uh, at love on the levels part. I'd never seen that footage before, mm-hmm. but it was so dude, so much talent, dude. It's yeah, just so yep. sick, dude. Man, definitely. That's the thing too. He was, he was naturally talented. Yeah, naturally yeah. gifted. Right. When it mm-hmm. when he found skateboarding, you can oh, tell man. it wasn't like a a learning curve for him. It was like, oh, this is this is how I do this. Different yeah. level. Yeah, it's it's how he did it. Yeah. That's what made him so special. It's just the way like the tricks he did was was were super hard. Mm-hmm. The way he did it stood out more than anyone else. Yep. Definitely. So, so fresh. Especially in that era of Love Park when nobody was skating like that. Yeah. You know? They talked about it in that piece too. Like he came in with a whole different view of how to make that 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 park, so to speak, his own. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And you're shooting with legends like Mark Blayback and <laughs> <laughs> so good, bro. For real. Hey, shout out this is a good must watch. Yeah, must yeah. straight watch. up. Yeah. Links in the description below. Go check it out. Shout out Stevie Williams, man. Legend. Oh, man. Yo, he's the on best. ESPN, bro. ESPN. We done Love did that. it. We done did it. Amazing. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> <laughs> everything yeah. about it was good. It shot really well. And everything yeah. was great, man. Hell like yeah professional so sick so the, good in the photos of him as a kid amazing mm-hmm. so sick and his mom's, mom's amazing so, mom's <laughs> so good it's right. so good straight up yeah man they're so good about giving back to the community too and everything mm-hmm. they do man yeah. yep. DGK definitely does that shout out to Don Cooley too the Save by Skateboarding mm-hmm. and all the stuff they're doing man that's it's a beautiful thing Cooley is definitely doing some good stuff bro yeah hell yeah go check it out must watch for real Stevie Williams. That made me watching that made me so happy though. That's just we literally yeah. watched all of that as for years as it happened. Yep. And to see just a little little story about it, mm-hmm. the behind the scenes. Yeah, I watched the reason to the tape pop. If I could be, I can still yeah. do the beatbox in my head to yeah. the intro. To yeah, yeah. I can't do it, but like, yeah, in my head. That makes me mad. I know when you you can you in your brain and then you st- and you're like. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> it doesn't sound was, anything like what I'm, I have in my head. That was when you tried to fold the fucking thing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, I got this. It's a three-second no. fold. I went right <laughs> home and did it. It's fucking crazy. <laughs> anyway, good stuff. Where uh, is that like button right? Is it right here or right here? Just a little scroll um, coming down the bottom. It's it's Subscribe. over to, yeah, it's on your it's on left. Right. No, on left. your left. Hey, yeah. hit right that there. button right there. Right there. Right there. Yeah, please. The, the like button's kind of like in the in the right middle there. there. It's like we're kind of like Oh, it's there. like right here? Kind of. Like yeah, right there? The subscribe's like over to the left. <laughs> it's like right over there. <laughs> All right.